See how wide her nail was? Massive. So we're gonna put on a little rubber band, that way there's no blood, so I can see everything nice and clear. Now you really didn't know what, what happened, like it was completely normal, then one day it just, just got worse. You said you banged the toe, and is that what really made it worse? Well now you're shot on camera after negotiating, you've done your job. You got yourself a bubble tea. <laughs> So we're gonna do our second little check, so I'm gonna cover it. You relax. Anything sharp here? No? How about down here? No? And over here? Down here? <coughs> awesome. You did it, you got past the, the scary part. So we can see that corner. The nail completely cracked at the tip going right into the skin. And so then that flesh has grown right over. <laughs> and if it's too much look, you just put your head back and relax. Okay. But what we're gonna do is take out that bad part of the nail. Very good. You're not even scared, you're watching, huh? Now, mom, how hard is it for you to take care of her toenails? Do you find it hard or not really? And have you ever seen her have kind of an ingrown before in the past or? Uh, no, I just noticed that that's how it grows. Like it's, it doesn't grow like that much. It's like it's, so I know it's gonna be prone to. Like that. There's the one side. So here's the big problem. You see that little edge? Yeah. That's all it needed to grow into the skin. You see how small the hole is? Mm -hmm. And look how big the nail piece is. That's what's growing right into the skin. And that's why that corner got trapped, it cut the skin, mm -hmm. and that's it. We have all this problem from that one little point. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And again, very small hole. And we'll see in the video how wide that piece is. And it goes very wide. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So the hole isn't big, but the nail's just so wide. Yes, and going down. So we're getting all this dead skin out. You're watching. You're not getting freaked out? We can save this and put it in your bubble tea. Extra, extra tapioca. So cleaning some of this bad skin out, we're going to get some of this bad flesh. And we're going to see in a second how deep the corners are. So if you just do this and don't do anything, those corners will grow back. The difference is we're going to put that medicine, the acid in the corners to stop them from ever happening all over again. But you can see here, that's the fleshy part where the, the, the nail was stuck in the skin. Off. Get a better view. Yeah, we can see how it's really soft and fleshy because the nail was digging right in that corner. So at least on this side, we're taking care of it before it gets worse. Now we're going to put on that acid and that's it. Those corners don't grow back. You haven't felt anything so far. You shouldn't feel anything now. And so basically what we removed were the parts that were going downwards. Mm -hmm. The body's gonna fill the corner in with completely new healthy skin. Mm -hmm. There'll be no hole, it'll be nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Even if you cut down on the side, you will not get an ingrown because there'll be no downwards curvature. Mm -hmm. And you know, you did, it, you did the needle like a champ. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst pain ever, how, and one being nothing, how, how much pain was it? 
11? <laughs> you didn't even move, you didn't even flinch. You didn't even say anything. You are very tough. And this is rubbing alcohol to neutralize that acid so no more reaction. And we're gonna clean a little bit more of that dead skin. And now, again, that whole hole is gonna fill up with new healthy skin. Feeling okay? A little lightheaded? Oh, jeez. Very good. So there you go. This will calm down, the corners will fill up. No more nail. I'm gonna show you guys quickly because it's really unbelievable. When we put the two pieces out here, See how wide her nail was? Yeah. Massive. Mm -hmm. And so you can see where it was getting caught. Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't even say a word. That's how tough you are. Yeah, I think you get two bubble teas. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one side. So this is how you're going to take care of it. You're going to put the antibody cream mm -hmm. on either side. Is that the whipped cream? That's the whipped cream. <laughs> If it's not bleeding, which is normal after one to two days to stop bleeding, you can just use a band-aid. The first couple of days, sometimes it's better to put a little bit of the gauze because mm -hmm. it gives her a little bit more cushioning and padding. Okay. So you put on the cream, you put on the gauze, and you wrap up the toe okay. with this self-adhesive wrap. Okay. We're gonna do that morning and night. If it's not really bleeding, like I said, you can just use the cream and a band-aid. Now, if this ever bleeds through normal, we just take the bandage off, put a new one on. You don't have to wrap it this much. I'm just doing it the first day just to reduce any sort of bleeding. Morning and night, morning and night you do this. Okay, so tomorrow, let's say there's no blood. You can just put, and you're staying home, cream and a bandaid. But you can put on this gauze just to give her a little bit extra protection, okay?